Have you ever wondered what it's like to live a day in the life of someone else? Social TV are curious about how the other half lives, which is why our new social series is aptly named A Day in the Life. From here in Dublin to the four corners of Ireland and the world, our presenters will meet with everyone from florists to actors to some of the world's leading entrepreneurs. Join us for A Day in the Life. Welcome to a day in the life of a florist. Today we're in Yes Flowers in Galway and we're going to pop inside and meet Mark Tierney. So come on with me. So you know this is one of my favourite places in Galway. It's so beautiful. I think it's the most beautiful building. It just catches your eye as you're walking by with all the flowers. So how did you end up here? In a florist from Galway? In a florist, a bit by accident. Uh, I was a chef. Uh, no and way. I met Rachis, my husband, yeah. So uh, he had just opened the business uh, at the same time as we met. Um, so it developed that he needed more staff, and there I was to step in. So I became uh, a florist, but gradually. Um, I used to work split shifts and all that. So I right. would spend a lot of my off time with Rachis, anyways, um, lunch times and all that. And it just grew that. Uh, the, the, the position became, and I kind of grew into it myself. Wow. So over a few years, I became um, a florist from a chef. But there um, are similarities. Are there, yeah. are there particular skills, or is there training for a florist? Yeah, so there's a course in Belfast that you can do okay. um, to train to be a florist, but the biggest courses are in Holland, Germany, Switzerland, and France. They have, uh, they have three-year uh, three uh, courses uh, where you learn the whole history of floristry, the, the Latin names and all that kind right. of thing. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you are talented, experience uh, with a qualified florist is really the best way of getting into it in Ireland without having to Well, it's to kind of like any creative business. Yeah. You probably, mm. people just naturally have a talent or an eye for it. So you obviously have a great yeah. eye for it. I think it's with, it was similar with in catering. You know, when you're creating mm. something beautiful mm. on a plate, you do have to arrange things to, to look nice. Um, and I think if you have an artistic eye, numbers that naturally fall into your head how things should be in twos, threes, fours okay. to create nice shapes, to create visuals.